Um, I have a question. Do you believe, as, as someone who's involved in tech, um, in Sydney specifically, um, ongoing kind of regulation and, and policies of the nanny state um, are having an effect on your ability to um, attract uh, talent for, for your team. I believe it's a serious issue that is incrementally becoming worse and worse and I want to talk about it in this video. I'm Tom Mason, I am the director of Beagle Digital and soon to be launched uh, Beagle Blockchain. Uh, I'm a recruiter in, in that kind of tech blockchain space and um, I've noticed a real tangible difference um, as a person and a recruiter it's got my goal. I feel that um, Sydney's reputation has gone to the gutter um, without any resistance um, because people don't truly understand uh, the potential implications not just to those kids who want to rave and but for the entire economy, the entire um, positioning of Sydney um, as a tech hub which is of vital importance. Now you may have seen in the press a few days a kind of ongoing debate about pill testing Premier um, instead of looking at any research or any listen to any experts um, has instead kind of been true to her narrative and kind of crushed the ability for people to run festivals um, in New South Wales. On the surface it doesn't seem too bad, it seems like they're just asking for a license but knowing people in the industry, um, the people that will be approving those licenses are the very people uh, doing everything they can to close down those, those festivals. So and for me that will be like the final nail in the coffin of any kind of youth culture in, in Sydney. Who cares? Well, you, you, I don't go to festivals. Um, I don't even go clubbing anymore. And you, you might not either, and why do you care? Well, it's for me, it's about perception. Um, and it's about um, potentially your ability to attract um, the best youth talent um, to, to Sydney. When I came here, I was attracted to Sydney because it was the best city um, in the world. Um, I came here in 2004 as a wide-eyed, small-town little Scottish kid, um, looking, you know, at the big bad city, and it was stunning, obviously. Um, but it also had this kind of great bohemian um, underbelly, um, a real creative side. Um, it also had, you know, thriving club scene, festival scene, music scene. There was great music starting to come out of Australia. And, um, you know, I'm still here. And many of the people who came around the time I did, some from Edinburgh, some from London, um, they're still here. And do you know what? They're all doing really well for themselves. Um, they're employing people. Um, they're, um, they're paying taxes. Um, and they're producing young Australians like myself. I have two. Um, and I feel, um, you know, that the... the What's happened with the lockouts, which is you know um, effectively crushed, completely crushed all the entire night economy, um, based on a couple of incidents that had nothing to do with the 170 venues that were um, have been closed down since, and I think there's tens of thousands of people have lost their, their livelihood. Um, the, um, the impression of Sydney has, has dramatically changed. Now, um, if I'm speaking to someone in Melbourne or speaking to a POM, um, Sydney used to be the easy sell, great city on earth. Now, um, you know, it's, it's tough. I've, I've actually lost a couple of candidates to Melbourne recently um, who were going to accept the role in Sydney. We're moving into um, blockchain and doing my research on companies around Australia. Um, I kind of really realised that um, Brisbane is kind of stealing a march on, on Sydney. Um, in that area, certainly on the startup, not the corporate side, um, as, as well as, as Perth. Um, and for me, that's kind of crazy because I know kind of busy kids from 10 years ago in anything digital, they'll be on the first uh, flight down to Sydney or Melbourne. Um, but now what's happening is even Sydney kids, you know, the, the, the startup owners, the um, CMOs of tomorrow, um, they're getting poached up to, to Brisbane. It's affordable, it's starting to happen. It's, it's a really cool, vibrant city. Um, with a real tech scene. I just wanted to make this video to perhaps maybe one or two of you can kind of view things differently, not just see the, the, the clubbers and the ravers. It's about the bigger picture. It's important, man. And if you want to look at it from an economic uh, tangent, you can, because it, it, it does have an impact.